Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Okami HD episode 36, the season 2 finale. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Last episode we got a whole bunch of really neat gifts from the Emperor. We got the water tablet, the wood mat, which I'm demonstrating right now, and also the fog pot. And I think I should demonstrate that right about now. The fog pot only works on these origin mirrors. They have an X on them. And uh, what you do with these is uh, you just go ahead and, well, draw an X on them. And that happens. Then you can warp to anywhere where there is an origin mirror like that. The place you want to go right now is all the way back in Kusa Village. Doing a bit of backtracking today. We actually have two things to do in here. First thing we'll do is run down here. Just a real quick thing before we get to the real crew of why we're actually here. Come on up here. Talk to our friend Kumoso. I haven't seen him in a long time. You should be strong enough right now, so that way when these enemies pop up, you should just, well, press square a couple times, and then they should die right off the bat. These dead fish may give you some problems, so just use uh, Gale Storm there, and you should take them out without any problems either. Especially if you've got a Glaive Vault, or if you even want to go even further, use Veil of Mist to take care of them like that. And it shouldn't take very long. Keep your time below 20 seconds, I think that's good. 17 seconds. That's, that's good. I think it has to be like 20 or 25 seconds. And if he gives you praise, that means that you got it. So, alright. Next, we're gonna head back up to Gale's Shrine. Yep, on the way back up there. Ah, it's getting dark. It's not being dark on my watch. Not yet. It doesn't need to be dark right now. You don't need to be in Fusia's house, but just in Gale Shrine, so... Past here. Yeah, it's pretty much so many memories. I haven't been here since, like, God, which episode? That was a long time ago. We've come so far since then. We've got so many new powers and so many new abilities. I'm feeling excited. We don't need to go far, just for some reason, where we need to be is in here. I don't know why it wouldn't be at Fusei's house. It'd make the most sense to me. Once you get to this corridor, you go ahead and turn right. You don't need to actually go that deep into the dungeon. Once you get across this corridor, you will meet... Here it is, big reveal. Fusei and the Kusa 5. Alright, well, uh, let's see what we have right now. We've got, oh, we've got a good amount of holy bones. Uh, a little bit worried about those infinity stones. Good if you have a whole lot of them. We do pretty good otherwise, though. I think we're ready. We're gonna fight these guys. <laughs> With pleasure. And the Dark Lord, and also the blight across Seon City, but whatever. Who's counting all these miracles I've been performing? It's not like I'm, sign it's, it's not like I'm some kind of god or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Bullshit! Is 
That means that this is a really real battle, and you could die, and we're not going to give you any safety cushions. But, if you want to follow this guide and get the platinum, you shouldn't be dying anyway. But I got some strategies to make sure you will not die, so bring it! Fair and clean fight. Right. Sure. First thing you do, use Veil of no, use Infinity Stone to use Veil of Mist, and then you just will kind of wail on these guys. Whenever Veil of Mist runs out, start it back up again. Do this every single time. Make sure your god hooks up a little bit, too. It will drop shits that explode. It kind of hurts, but uh, as long as you keep Veil of Mist active, make sure you have your god hood up, which I should do right about now. There we go. Maybe even get a Steel Fist Sake in there. This is really the best tactic. We're not really immune... We're not really uh, affected by a lot of your brush strokes, your brush techniques. And I think the Rosary does best because with that you can take out multiple dogs at one time. And the other uh, plus about using Veil of Mist is that sometimes they do their charge attack. And in real time, that stuff is very, very fast, and it can really do a lot of damage, especially if a lot of them are doing it at once. They are invulnerable at this time, but if you manage to get around them, you can sort of counterattack that uh, while they're charging, and uh, Veil of Mist makes this effortless, pretty much. It's a good thing we got all those techniques at the dojo, because now we got a strong enough rosary to, you know, a strong enough rosary combo to take them out and take it sizable chunk of damage because these guys have incredibly high defenses. It's insane. I also like to use the glaive too so that way you can reach across the screen uh, pretty pretty quickly here. Problem is though that this takes a long time. The demon gates were much much harder especially if you're trying to go for demon fangs but with these guys they don't really have demon fangs so you know safe for the piss. You can always, you can always piss on them. But Really, it's just about endurance, keeping an eye on your ink, and also your health and your godhood. It's just more of an endurance around than anything, kind of also maintaining where you are spatially in terms of the field. And I don't plan to ramble on like this for long, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to the end of this. There's one down. Usually when one falls, the rest will go with them. Not long after. There. It takes care of, well, the first four at least. With quite a bit of coinage, I may add. But then, apparently, the missing members decide to show up. I think that's who those guys are. Same rules apply. Use your Infinity Stone, Veil of Mist. You can take them out without any problems. I'd like to mention you can also use Exorcism Slips if you just want to, you know, make them all go boom. And also make them all vulnerable for any power slices that you may want to try to inflict on them. Not recommend. They don't really do much. I definitely recommend using Veil of Mist towards the end because then they start dropping shit bombs everywhere that explode when you get too close. They kind of hurt and they're annoying and they, I swear, they drop them everywhere. I'm going without my ink for now because I want to save my infinity stones. Almost got him. There's one. The rest should follow suit. And there's... Alright, that's round three. I'll take this time to fill up my health again. Maybe uh, get a vengeance slip. 
This last one's going to be, well, not the hardest, but uh, certainly the most appropriately challenging. This motherfucker again. Uh, let's uh, increase our godhood, get a steel fist socket going on, maybe get a steel soul socket going on, and of course get an infinity stone going on. Get that veil of mist going, going and uh, this is probably the fastest way to take him down. He's got really high defense. He's been taking the protein shake since the last fight. He jumps around a lot too, especially towards the end of his of his uh, health bar. Luckily, Veil of Mist uh, keeps him in his tracks. I think the Steel Soul socket, uh, the Steel Fist socket, is helping a lot too. Those two mixed up. And with my glaive, I can just sail across the room and nail him. With my Godhood, his attacks can just uh, bounce right off of me. I think this is the easiest because you don't have four dogs to, to juggle around. You only have one to worry about. So that makes it a bit more easier when it's one on one. So that way you can just focus on one particular dog. Just a matter of patience. Without his buddies, it's not particularly difficult. He's just really, really got a lot of health and a really high defense. He really starts jump. like I said, he really starts jumping around towards the end of his uh, life bar here. But I find that's a glaive followed by a rosary, and then a glaive again to get close to him is usually a good way to handle it. Except when he makes another fucking hole for you to fall into. Ah! glows like that, that means he's invulnerable. The second he stops glowing, you can go and counterattack him, and that's when he, well, does another goddamn attack. Come on, man! Almost gotcha. Maybe I should get another Steel Fist Sake. Yeah. Alright, I think I got him now. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Die. Or fall. Play dead. You know what? Die. I don't care. That could have gotten a little better. Now that gets you a golden trophy. Seems kind of easy for a golden trophy, doesn't it? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Sure, whatever. Ha! The game is self-aware! 10 out of 10. So, it means you guys gotta learn to control the flow of time. And we get 48 praise, which is a good chunk. And we get one more thing. Stray bead 35. Stray bees are getting harder and harder to get. Yeah. Well, that's all the business we need to do at Kusa Village. We can head on out now. Alright. Back in town. Head back to this safe point. We could walk it to where we're going next. Oh, shit. Sometimes it doesn't recognize your X. You gotta be clear and precise. Anyway, even though we could walk it, I figure we just go ahead and warp it. Because we're going next to the city checkpoint. My favorite place in the game. <laughs> really, it's this moment that made me kind of really like this, this place a lot. There's one more stray bead here that we need to get, and because we have the water tablet, we can get it. The idea is, we just go to this bridge, and jump off to the right. Because we have the water tablet, we can now run upstream. Lily pads don't work on the river, so they automatically disappear. And now that we have the water tablet, we can just run upstream like it ain't even nothing. We are now a Jesus wolf. Of 
We're heading over to this island right here. All the way to the end. We got somebody's boat. Somebody... Ugh. Hmm. Well, anyway. We got ourselves a clover. Man, I bet to get here, and it's so late game, I bet this is worth a lot. Er, five. Sure. And there's also this tree, it's worth one, as normal. Aha, but there's also a chest here. And this one is Stray Beat 40. Got a lot of beads to get before we head on to the north. Well, it may take a bit of a hike, but uh, you can enjoy the scenery. That's nice. Yeah. Well, anyway, enjoy the scenery and head on back up to the save point. And we're back at it. Now, for some place we can only get to with the... That. Now for some place we can only get to with the warp pot. Warp pot. Fog pot. So many things are called so many things what they do. Uh, we are going now to the North Hiroshima Coast rocky area. We can only get to this place with the fog pot. This is a neat little uh, place tucked up here on the on this uh, mountain, I suppose. They got two clovers. Again, not worth that one. Not, not worth a lot. Not cool. And our second clover. In the chest we get Stray Bead 64. Beautiful. Alright, now we got another bit of running to do. Jumping off just takes you back here. You don't need the water tablet for this, but uh, you can use Orchid to get here. You're looking out here into the ocean. If you look at your map, you run out far enough. The map should change to the ocean, so you can see all these other islands. We are running to this island right here. That's where we're going next. And it might take us a little while. So... Let's just fade out to the next section. We're here! What's up, Fisherman? Talk to me. Well, the water dragon's been taken care of a while ago, dude. Another fisherman without a line. We have the Marlin Rod. We bought that from Seon City. It's another uh, quest item. The first bow we bought was for Ben K. The second one is for him. And we have no choice. He takes it from us. I do not want to stick around and see this. We are going to save fishing for very, 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 very end of the game. Yeah, it's getting dark. I don't want it to be dark. It must always be bright, sunny days! Where we need to go is back here. The fisherman just serves as a landmark, so you know where to go. And up here, got ourselves yet another clover. Clover's everywhere. You think, like, some people named Clover made this or something. Hmm. Over by the hard dig spot. We got ourselves another clover. A bit of money and an ink pot inside. And inside this chest, we have a little holy bone there. Huh. Oh, thought there'd be something else here. Actually, there is. Over here, in between these three bushes. Man, I don't even think you can hardly even see it. It's there. It's somewhere here. Right there it is. You only see it at night. But if you know it's between these three, you can still dig it up. What is it? 
Stray Beat 62. Alright. Now we're going back to the Dragon Palace. Logic states that I should be able to go into the Whirlpool, right? The Whirlpool is the, is the, Whirlpool is the entrance to the Dragon Palace, and so I should be able to go in no problem, right? Makes sense. I mean, look, Amy's even taking a dive. Oh, she's... That kind of looks fun, actually. So here we are in... Not the Dragon Palace. Pfft. You have no sense of adventure very soon. Whatever. Okay, so we can't go in that way. Hey, Urashima. Because it's dead. Something good, alright. It's this! He has a stray bead, but uh, we have to go to the Dragon Palace to go get something for it, but when he comes back, it's gone. Well, he's gone. So we'll get him a little bit later. There's still a couple things we need to do in Ryoshima Coast, but we're going to save that for way later until we're stronger. Because it's another demon trial gate, and I'm not going to put myself or you through another one of those. So we'll go ahead and warp from our save point. We'll go to the Dragon Palace from here. They don't need your orca whirlpool bullshit anyway. So, let's head on in from here. First business is over in the Water Dragon's grave, I suppose. Should have done this immediately after Rao took those uh, fox rods from us. What we'll do is just kind of scribble around around here. And instead of a disgusting grave, there's a nice little tree there in a chest. Not a clam, but a chest. That means it's got to be something good in there. What could it be? It's a treasure box. I need to give this to Urashima so he can give me a stray bead. But, he's gone, and I don't feel like finding it right now, so we'll save that for later. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere else. So I should definitely give it to Urashima because he's gonna go ahead and open it and turn into an old man just like the story! Ha 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 ha. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for a while anyway. For now, we're gonna head up the elevator and talk to Otohime. Favorite leader in the game, favorite queen. Awesome, awesome. What's up? It's good to see you too! Hell yeah! Alright, everything works out well there. But she's got something more to say? Hey! Neat. We'll probably see him in the sequel. But you're not playing. I don't like the sequel. What could it be? A sword? Gold? Nope. Stray Beat 73. Huh. Well, that's awesome. See you later, hon. Alright, our business here at the Dragon Palace is over with, so we can take our leave.
Now, because Urashima is, is gone from North Ryoshima, well, from his spawn point in North Ryoshima, he's out on those islands. I don't feel like running back there and get there. We're just going to go ahead and head over to Shinshu Field for now. Place is still looking stormy. Ugh. Right, we're gonna head back to where Ida's spawn point was. Over towards that area. Ooh, a clover. Must have missed this the first time around. I didn't even see how much that was. Well, if you look at your map, you can see a cat call tower and also, well, the part, the place where Waka mark marked on our map. So we'll head about right there. First, I'm going to go see what's in this cracked wall. Because, well, hey, while we're here. Not going to take long at all, because all that's in here is just a statue and an exorcism slip. That was worth the time. All right, next, it's obvious. You go ahead and do catwalk. If it isn't obvious, I don't know why not. It should be. Make our way up to an entirely undiscovered section of Shinshu. We haven't even seen this place up until now. How nice. The place you need to be is this strange looking ruin. Hmm. What is that, soon? Looks ancient. I've seen that marking before the seven pronged sword, the nine pronged sword, I think. But well, that's all the time we have to spend our time here. We'll tackle this next time, next season. So we'll see you in about a month or two on Let's Play Okami HD. Everybody, welcome to the last platinum check-in of the season. I haven't done it in a while because I wanted to just have one that wrapped up everything that we were doing. So, first off, let's look at the uh, praise that we've accumulated. I think it's fair if we go ahead and upgrade this a little bit. Uh, I think it would be best if we upgraded our. Ah, uh, uh, we'll go with our purse. Now that's full. We can start making a whole lot of cash for next time. We need to get all these filled up at some point, so we're not quite done collecting praise yet. We still got quite a lot to go. But don't worry, there's still plenty of praise to get. Techniques, we've got one more to get. There's also little sub things that we can do here, but uh, we'll worry about those once we get to those. Let's see. Uh, travel guide. You know, I think we should be good on here so far. Most of these are just text scrolls that we're missing. We can get those no problem. Uh, move list, we've got a few. Our uh, Rosary Storm. And our Spirit Armageddon. Still got quite a few to get, and also Dig and Champ. I don't think we looked at that yet. And our Double Jump. And our Golden Fury. The rest are just techniques that we'll get at other dojos later on. I don't think we have any new animals, do we? Nah, nope. Uh, no fish, because we haven't gone fishing yet. Uh, one new treasure, the rooster statue. He was behind the uh, emperor. I don't think there's anything else here. And uh, last but not least, let's check our stray bees. We're filling them up quite well. These two over here, 9 and 10, we're not going to get these until probably the end of the game. They're really late game bees. Uh, these we'll probably get uh, a little bit later on. They're just ones that I didn't get a chance to get. And these are the two uh, ones from Ryoshima that we missed. We didn't get a chance to get. And there's still plenty more to go. So, uh, alright, thanks a lot for sticking around uh, this long. Uh, there's still a lot more Okami HD coming, and we'll see you next time.